powder your palms and pull up a plastic covered armchair as the perkiest side of Pinku Iger comes out to play in the form of writer director Su Masayuki's 1984 debut film Abnormal Family. Shukichi is a widower with three grown children. He lives with his young adult daughter Akiko and youngest late teenage son Kazuo. His eldest son Kuichi has just got married to a slightly older woman named Yuriko and together they have moved in as man and wife above Kuichi's father's residence. As newlyweds, the couple are soon exhausting the carnal techniques of the Kama Sutra to satisfy their lusty needs. The father, Shukichi, takes to frequenting nighttime bars, and his younger son and daughter become worried about him. Shukichi also embraces his role of father in law to his elder son's bride, Yuriko, beyond the normal boundaries. He goes out during the daytime with her on walks, picnics and trips, telling her that she looks a lot like his wife and reminds him of her. By night, her new husband evermore fulfills his own ever kinkier sexual desires, taking to binding Yuriko and caring not for the elevated cries and groans of passion that echo their conjugal vows down through the floor, as below them his father, brother and sister cannot help but listen to their raucous sexual soundtrack. A slideshow of sexual desire plays out, but Koichi's cravings become unfulfilled by Yuriko alone and he spends more time at work and his father spends more time pleasantly sharing his days with Yuriko. Koichi's time and attention though has turned all Tokyo decadence as he freely turns to a female co-worker with an appetite for the deeper and darker carnal cravings he too craves in abnormal family. Proceedings permeate the pinku pages here to the adult end of Rated X, as scenes of hot candle wax and leather whips come out to play and Koichi's wet world of twisted pleasures. In this mature matrix of dominatrix, the only choice of pill to be taken in this now full-on neo-naughty slice of 80s pinku Iga is of the blue variety. Abnormal Family, during its time of VHS release, likely soon became a, a permanent play choice, displaying a broken press selection dial at the motel rooms all across Japan. Prolific filmmaker Takashi Mike most likely would have taken some cues from this movie to deliver his own bizarrely engrossing oddity, Visitor Q, which followed in 2001. The abnormal family title is so apt and further expands upon its ever entwining related characters as Yuriko one day picks up the teenage Kazuo from a side street shop after he is pulled to one side for shoplifting. She takes him home with her and comfort turns to a sexual lesson that further highlights the theme here of keep it in the family. Abnormal family is most definitely not your usual view of an afternoon with a cup of tea, but it is a sinful sideshow with a spoonful of quirky. The movie is often quite profound as well. Yuriko relays that her own father once told her that marriage will not bring you instant happiness. Happiness will not just come to you. You must seek out your own happiness. 
just one of several life messages pressed between the Pinku pages here in Abnormal Family. Third Winter Films have dared once again to delve deep into the multifaceted film stocks of Japanese cinema and pulled out an interesting piece. Combining it with the film Blue Film Woman from 1969, another Pinku Iger feature film, and together with Abnormal Family, they serve up a two Blu-ray DVD combo set that also includes a 35-minute video essay in the extra features. A bonus piece from Jasper Sharp on the pink cinema genre. Both movies are from a newly sourced remaster that also delivers clear and precise English language subtitles to complement the original Japanese language movies. Abnormal Family delivers a well-made and surprisingly engaging slice of sinful viewing pleasure. And a 6 out of 10 overall scorecard for this release. It may just touch you where you least expected. Thanks for watching. Sayonara for now.